Hi, my name's Neil Priddy. I'm from Rare Record Collector and I'm here with BMG today to help uh, launch the new 10-year war box set from Black Sabbath. I run a website dedicated to uh, rare vinyl and I also write books, which this particular one was the uh, one of the inspirations for the, the box set uh, that BMG put together, fabulous box set. Several months ago I got uh, uh, contacted by Ian from uh, BMG and he asked me if I'd like to help um, consult really with the, the box set, making sure we could get as close as possible to the original uh, first pressings that came out on uh, certainly the legendary Vertigo uh, label. So this is a copy of the 10 year war book um, that uh, the guys at BMG got a hold of where they actually purchased a, an original copy, very very hard to find, um, rare as hen's teeth. So they've reproduced the, uh, the 10 year war book in its uh, full colour, uh, glorious uh, original um, artwork. Uh, and this accompanies the box set, but this was also the idea behind uh, the box set and, and the inspiration behind it from the start. So from the Ten Year War concept from the original booklet, uh, the artist uh, Shepard Fairey is a long-time friend and collaborator uh, with Black Sabbath. He's done numerous uh, tour artworks with them for several years. He's now come up with the, uh, the box cover artwork. You can see he's taken the, the Ten Year War concept and brought out the Grim Reaper, complete with cruise missiles or, or some such uh, uh, artillery. Uh, to get this fabulous uh, box uh, for, the, for the whole set. And he's also taken the concept into this uh, art print that's included uh, in the box set. Again, looks uh, fabulous. Also included with the box set and available only uh, exclusively with the box set is this uh, fabulous USB uh, Sabbath crucifix. Uh, features all eight albums in super high quality uh, MQA. Uh, it's about as close as you can get to the original master tapes. And what we've got here is a couple of faithful uh, reproductions of very rare uh, original single, so this was the Japanese version of uh, Evil Woman, uh, which the original Japanese version uh, was Don't Play Your Garms With Me, but so we managed to correct the spelling on this one. Um, even includes uh, an original reproduction of the Japanese uh, Philips label uh, in the blue and silver. Really hard to get hold of an original copy now, so it's a nice treat for the, uh, the Black Sabbath fans. And we've even got an even rarer single, uh, which was a, from Chile uh, originally. Um, this is the Paranoid single. Um, and it would cost you probably four figures to get hold of an original copy of this now. Uh, and this photo is really interesting. This was actually shot in um, Jim Simpson's back garden. Jim obviously was Black Sabbath's original manager, and he did all their early photography. A lot of it was, was based in his back garden and at uh, the local park in uh, Aston. So the box set contains uh, obviously the, the first eight uh, Black Sabbath albums, and we'll start with the iconic debut that came out Friday the 13th, 1970. Um, such a famous sleeve, shot at uh, Maple Durham uh, Watermill. Uh, it's interesting, you actually can't get to the spot where they photographed this from now. There's a, a big brick wall in the way, and uh, because it's much more manicured in terms of the gardens now. Um, faithful repro reproduction of the original sleeve, gatefold sleeve, complete with the um, controversial uh, inverted crucifix that um, the band had no say on. This was all done by the record company without the band's. Um, even seeing it or even having anything to, to approve it. But really, you know, it's a classic, iconic sleeve and it's been beautifully reproduced here. And all of the albums feature this fabulous splatter vinyl, all in different colours. And you've even got the iconic Vertigo Swirl label here, which is obviously familiar to all rare record collectors. Moving on to uh, Black Sabbath's most successful album, Paranoid, went to number one in the charts at the end of 1970. This album was originally going to be called War Pigs, hence the pink uh, clad leotard and sword wielding uh, warrior on the front there but the um, the band was just about to jet off to the USA for their first tour and they felt that War Pigs or the record company felt that War Pigs was probably a little bit too inflammatory given the situation of the Vietnam War and the protest over there at the time so it was changed at the last minute to Paranoid uh, obviously reflecting the success of the single that had just come out as well and again this is a fabulous faithful recreation it includes the big bear credit that you only get on a limited number of first edition sleeves so BMG have done a fantastic job on uh, including that credit to keep it really authentic uh, for the fans and the collectors so we've got a real slavish attention to detail here in that we've even got recreations of the original sleeves um, that the, the records would have come in so really replicating first editions um, right the way back to 1970 of this particular album Moving on to Sabbath's third album. This is again a very iconic sleeve. Features, if you can see there, the embossing that was done on the original sleeve. Features the envelope style uh, top opening that was done uh, 
back in 1971. Complete recreation of the original artwork. Some later versions of this album uh, actually had the song title misspelled as Sweet Life. This is the first album to feature Tony Iommi's now famous C-sharp tuning. Gave it the heaviest sound that had ever been heard on record. On Black Sabbath's uh, fourth album, titled Volume 4. And again, fabulous recreation of the original artwork, complete with the gatefold insert, which was shot at Birmingham Town Hall. Was his famous pose with his fringe jacket, which then went on to become obviously the iconic graphic that you see on the sleeve.